It's time for another construction update. Um, this one's not too big, um, but it's still pretty exciting. Uh, there's a lot of things they're working on. So obviously they're getting Splashworks ready for its opening. Um, it looks like they're installing the water slides in the new Lakeside Lagoon that should be opening this Saturday and I'll be there Sunday and Saturday. Um, super excited about that. <laughs> I'm gonna get a cabana um, because there's no better way to enjoy Splashworks than having a cabana. Um, I'm trying to remember what was going on. Oh, okay, right. So it looks like they're just finishing off some paving in this area, installing the water slide pieces, and just uh, like all together cleaning up the area as well. And then um, lots of work going on in the Timberwolf area that I couldn't really see too much of, but I get another shot of another footer hidden really deep in the forest um, in one of these clips that you'll see. Um, so that was pretty exciting again, um, just testing out this DSLR and getting used to it. Um, but yeah, they're, they're like almost done this pathway. So that's exciting. The fencing, um, still at the halfway point today. Um, so look at all, this is the shot I was talking about. I think, I think this is the shot I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, so you can see it really far back there, um, right next to a Timberwolf bolt, uh, not bolt, boat. So that one's like dead center. So in total, I think there's about like 10 to 20 footers max in the Timberwolf area. Um, so again, I'm pretty sure that's the MCBR and then the second drop or if it's a dive coaster or some sort of like corkscrew, if it's a wing coaster, whatever it ends up being. Um, but yeah, um, can't wait till Saturday for can't wait for Saturday to get a closer view at all these footers in the area. I have a feeling that smoking area is closed off now, though. But here's the fencing. Um, as you can see, they actually did shorten the poles so that it looks exactly like Timberwolf and Whitewater Canyon area. And then you're about to see them bringing in lampposts. And the lampposts are the Canadiana themed area lampposts, um, which is super exciting. So we now know and can confirm that the Canadiana area is coming all the way over to this area over here. And that this coaster, based off of a few teasers that park reps on uh, Twitter and stuff like that have been hinting at and just like, you know, the interview we did with Grace, that this is probably going to be a Canadian themed coaster. And um, it's definitely not going to be Ziz. It's definitely going to be something to do with the Klondike Gold Rush and Yukon territories. Um, yes, oh, oh, this is cool. So they're finally using the water piping that's been stored over there for a while and they're installing it near the station area slash break run. So I'm actually starting to think Will there be some sort of splash element or waterfall feature of some sort on this coaster? It, that's really exciting because I wasn't expecting it to be in the station area. But yes, they're doing a lot of like water piping. And I know the Splashworks water piping is done. They're testing all the water slides and all that. And that all runs on the same water system. So this isn't related to Splashworks. This is related to this coaster. So this is exciting. And uh, I'm going to keep an eye on that. Here they are laying bricks. <laughs> um, again, look at this area. It looks really nice with that river rock and the... Uh, the Canadiana theming going on. I'm so excited. Like, I just want the teasing campaign to start. That's my favorite part. And then I also just want, you know, August 16th, the roll around um, for the announcement. So um, yeah, not much going on in this area. Again, just like it looks like they're digging out what's gonna be water piping. It's a long trench, not a trench for like a splashdown, a trench for water piping. Um, so that's exciting. Um, obviously they wet the gravel or soil before they lay the brick as it makes it more firm and easier to lay the brick down. Um, there wasn't too much cause there's, they're very focused on getting this path open. I think open for the Splashworks opening. Now there was some weird stuff going on in this area. There was a cement truck at one point. Um, this guy was working on stuff in this area. There's like a whole. Um, I have no idea what it is. It's not a footer or anything because I was watching it. It looks more like, I, I have no idea what it really is. It's it's a maintenance worker, not a construction worker. So I'm assuming it's to do with like, oh, looks like I got my answer there. It looks like the sm old smoking area under Timberwolf is closed. Now here's a cool con um, shot of uh, the Splashworks construction. So it looks like they got all their umbrellas up there. You see right there a blue water slide piece. Um, so um, they're lifting the water slide pieces into place for Lakeside Lagoon. We know it got a huge upgrade. It's going to look phenomenal. So excited about that. Um, and then here's just a really cool shot of the new like pathway to Splashworks slash midway for the new coaster question mark. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this update. I know I do them every day, <laughs> every weekday. 
Um, so uh, yeah, stay tuned for Saturday and Sunday because there will be some exciting shots, hopefully taken on the pathways and all that near this construction site and then um, in Splashworks itself. All right, give the video a like, share it if you want and subscribe if you haven't. Have a good one, guys. Bye.